Hello drone racers, today we are going to be looking at the next generation of Tiny Whoops. Yes, you heard me right. This is the new Esheen E11 drone. We've had the E10 for a while now, but now we have the E11, so it's one better. Okay, so the big difference is these have 7mm motors in them versus the six millimeter that we have in the E10, which should give it a lot more power. They also are supposed to come with bigger batteries. So today we are going to crack these open. I have one of each, the bright saint white one and the dark night black one. And we're gonna see how they do, how they perform, do some hover tests, do some flight tests, do a couple battles with them, get a first few couple flights on it just to take a look. One thing I didn't mention in these is these are Lego drones, hashtag not Lego drones. The, uh, they come with this Lego base, Lego peg style base, and a minifig person that you get to put together and you can fly around with them on the top. You also do get your standard bag of extra props and the charger available for it and a screwdriver. Um, what do we need the screwdriver for? Oh, I guess we have to change the board. So even though this is a drone video, we're gonna start with the Lego dude. So it's a little odd. His legs do come off in standard fashion. He's probably interchangeable with the rest of any other minifigs you may have. But his arms don't even come attached. You have to uh, actually connect his arms and pop them on. And uh, they, they just snap together. So you actually... Does this count as a build video if we are uh, assembling the Lego dude? So there's the little fighter dude. He's actually pretty cool. He's got this cool shoulders on it. There's actually Lego pegs. I should stop calling them Lego, but that's what they are. Pegs on the back so you can add th more things off of his back if you need to. And then his visor, actually there's a little, little piece sticking out the back here and you can push it and it pops up so you can see his face or he can be safe. You can see his face and you can be safe. So he's actually pretty cool. And then he just snaps on the top here. We're gonna go ahead and verify with one of my extra Lego men that actually looks like a pilot, seems a little more appropriate for this kind of thing, and make sure he fits on there. Oh yeah, he fits just fine, so whatever Legos you wanna put on top of here are gonna work. More on that later. If you have an E10, you'll notice the control that it comes with is actually a little bit different. I've got the uh, E10 controller here versus the E11. It's very similar, but the power button is switched and there's no thumb buttons here. So the controls, the flip is gonna be a little bit different. And looking at the manual, the speed control is down here to switch it between fast and slow speed. And in order to do a flip, you actually push down the right stick. So you push down the right stick, it's supposed to start beeping, and then you push a move and it will do a flip. We'll be uh, testing that in a little bit, but that is just a little bit different if you're used to the rest. And there is this I guess it's not even a button on the top here. It feels like this should be a big giant button. It doesn't say it does anything. So it takes three AA or three AAA batteries just like the other one. If you've watched any of my E10 videos, you'll know this control is not great. And this is gonna be the same, same deal with the E11. So one of the things I highly recommend is picking up a pair of these extension sticks. There's a video or link up here with the full review of them, but they're like $1.50 or $2 and well worth it because you get much, much better control with these sticks. So I actually am curious though, I don't know for sure if they're gonna fit on the E11, so let's find out. They just, you just twist these off and just twist the new ones on, and yeah, they do fit. Okay, good. That would have been bad if they didn't fit. That would have been sad. They're, they don't stick quite as tightly. They do come on and off. So you might want to think about super gluing them, especially if you're a pincher and they might slide, but overall, still, Highly, highly recommend the sticks. We'll give you much better control over the E11. So let's take a look at this in direct comparison with the E10. Um, we've got a new scale here that's hopefully easier to read and we're all zeroed out. So in grams, the E10 is 16 grams and the E11 is 20 grams. So it is quite a bit heavier, but I think those bigger motors will more than make up for it. The battery that it comes with is a 1S 260 milliamp 30C battery. So it's actually a lot bigger than the batteries that we got with the E11s. These were 150s, now we have a 260. So I think this will affect the flight time quite a bit. We'll test that. The next thing everybody's gonna wanna know is what batteries can you use with this? So we're actually gonna look at a couple different batteries here. 
I have the 45C 150 milliamp that we've been using with the E10s and the E10S for a while. So we'll test that. We know that will fit without a problem. It will just connect in there and connect up, but it's smaller, so we'll, we'll see how that does. We've got the one that it comes with, and then I also have ordered some of these. This is the brand new Esheen 45C 240 milliamp battery, which is supposed to be for the E10S. The problem is it comes with a low CT connector, and I'm afraid to say this is not gonna work. I bought these really hoping they were gonna work in here. But this fits in here, I've already tried this, and it, it does just barely fit in here, but then you can't get the connector in place. It's just, there's just not enough room. So for right now, if you wanna order extra batteries, what you're gonna to have to do is go for the 150 milliamp size versus the uh, 250s, because they will work and they'll get you extra batteries. When you do get this one with the five-way green charger, and it will charge them all at the same time, and these little things are awesome, it's cheaper than buying five batteries separately and you get the charger. It'll charge them all at the same time. Those are great. There'll be a link down below for that. Once these 240 milliamp batteries are available, I will add a link down below for them, but it, there's not one yet. So now what I want to see happen is I'm going to do a three-way test. We're going to test the flight capabilities of this three ways. One with the stock battery and no dude on it one with the stock battery and the Lego dude on top to see how much flying with him affects the performance. And then we're gonna do one with the 150 milliamp to see how much are you sacrificing if you get this battery today. Okay, so that was really impressive. With the default battery, it's over six minutes of flight. That's a whole bunch of flight time for one of these little quadcopters. And I'll say the motors weren't even slightly warm to the touch. Like I put it up to my lips to even tell that there was any heat in them at all. And they were just fine, they didn't care at all. Um, with the dude, the Lego dude, we got about 30 seconds less. So yeah, that, that makes a difference with the additional weight. And with the smaller battery, we still got over four minutes, which is still really good. So there's nothing wrong with these batteries at all. This one did get a little warm, even though it's 45C technically. And, uh, but it still worked just fine. So there's nothing wrong with getting a batch of these because I don't, it's probably going to be a month or so before you can get more of these available for about 15, 20 bucks. You can pick up one of these sets with five of them and you're not you're not hurting anything i wouldn't wait i would just go ahead and pick those up if if you want to fly because what you're going to want to do is get two of them so two of you can fly together and you can fight so now we're going to see how they fly more than just hovering in my basement all right we're going to test with the lego test some actual indoor flights okay it's pretty fast uh -huh. it's not too bad Ready? Okay, this is not on high speed yet, and this is with the guy. So we're gonna turn it, press the button on the lower left hand side, and we're gonna try it now, see if it's faster. Oh, that's a lot faster. Uh-huh, way faster. Be careful, don't hit the camera. Don't hit the camera, I'm not gonna hit the camera. Press the right stick, it beeps, and you press the right way. Okay, got it that time. <laughs> Let's see if I can trim it so it'll just sit there. Actually, right there, I'm not touching the stick at all. See, here's the control. There he goes, oh no! Now, should we make him fight? Yeah! Sure. Fight. So the goal is to knock your opponent's knight off of the top of the Lego drone, or off of the top of the drone. The round will start in three, two, one, go! Oh! Ah! Oh! Uh, I won! No, I won! <laughs> the next battle is bigger knights. They're on horses this time. I like that horse. It's pretty. It's cute. All right, we're going to see if this works. Can the drones lift the classic Lego Knights, and will the balance throw them completely off? We'll find out. Ready? Yeah. Go. <laughs> it actually, actually worked out really well. Go! <laughs> 
<laughs> it's like they really joust. It's like they really... They actually work very perfectly. Uh-huh. Next up, Lego <laughs> Starfighters. Oh, it's always the Star Wars. That's actually a pretty cool in Lego version. TIE Interceptor versus Jedi Starfighter. Hello there. Do not fight me. Do not kiss. Can you see it well there? Yes. I can see it. It's fine. Ah, you almost got to Aiden. Be careful. There are drones all over the place. And there are. Aiden going crazy. They are going crazy in the air. Dad's doing sound effects to maybe make the video even more perfect. If his head is like real Star Wars. We have Jedi Luke Skywalker versus good guy. an Imperial Inquisitor. I've never seen that Star Wars guy before. He's from Rebels. He's the guy without his head. The Inquisitor with his uh, helicopter lightsaber. You need to balance it. Oh, well, that's as good as it gets. He looks familiar to Darth Maul. A little bit. Of those, I think the ship is the coolest. I actually like the horses better. You like the horse? Uh, so let's see if it can actually lift one of the horses. Can. It's tough. That's full throttle. That's all he's got. They're hovering horses. They can joust like that, though. That's pretty cool. If this was real, that would be amazing. So that was totally awesome. Literally fun for the entire family. Here's a little better look at how the uh, starships mounted. So those fit right on there and flew around and actually looked really, really good. The knights were pretty cool too. The horses were, were totally cool. I did try the bigger version. These are the uh, $8 versions of the ships and it will not lift these, unfortunately. They're just too heavy, but Still, it was still very cool flying the little ones around. I think that was the most fun that I had. The, the horses, if we can get them both to hover and line up, if I can get my son to practice a little more, that could end up being a whole bunch of fun. But for now, that's going to be the end of this video. Thanks for watching, and make sure you like and subscribe to see what else we do with these. Coming soon, we're going to be trying these with FPV, so we'll mount a camera on top. We're also going to do another video just with fun things you can do with these and Legos. So those are going to be a lot of fun. These are just fun quads for the price. These are definitely the go-to models to start with. They're cheap. You can get a couple of them. They're different. The kids think they're a blast. So that's the way to go. If you have any additional questions and things you want to see about these, you want to see exactly how much they will lift. You want to see more about what type of batteries work with them. Um, just let me know, comment down below, and let me know what else we should be putting on these. But for now, that's going to be the end of this video. Thanks for watching, and remember, go fly some freaking Lego drones. This one's my favorite. Yeah, that, oh, that's your favorite. So you like the Star Wars one better than the Force Of course. Ah, you hit the camera! Good. Don't 